For the fifth day in a row, senators on Capitol Hill are trying to hammer out ways to trim President Barack Obama's $937 billion economic stimulus plan. Senators could vote on it as early as this afternoon, but as Fox's uh, Craig Boswell reports, that's only if Democratic and Republican moderates can agree on ways to scale that plan down. The world is waiting to see what we're going to do in the next 24 hours. Senators are at odds Everyone over the bottom line the of the Economic Recovery and Reinvestment Act. The price tag of the measure is now at $937 billion. I want it uh, under uh, $800 uh, uh, billion. About 18 moderate Republicans and Democrats are working to cut about $100 billion from the bill. Our duty is to pare it down as much as possible to get the job done. The Senate is pouring over a number of amendments today, allowing time for the compromise group to find common ground. They'll whittle off uh, enough of the spending to get the three or four extra votes that are needed. President Obama is turning up the heat on Congress, taking a sharper tone with Republicans criticizing the amount of spending in the plan. So, well, then, I, then you get the argument, well, this is not a stimulus bill, this is a spending bill. What do you think a stimulus is? <laughs> That's the whole point. The president says the proposal will save or create three to four million jobs. Some Republicans aren't buying it. But spending money on uh, hiking trails and federal buildings um, and just wasting over a tri trillion dollars is not going to give these people their jobs back. If there's agreement, the Senate could vote later today. Then differences will have to be worked out with the House. The president hopes to have it on his desk by February 16th. In Washington, Craig Boswell, Fox News. House Republicans are angry about those comments President Obama made at last night's dinner for House Democrats. They say just because they didn't get on board with Obama's stimulus package doesn't mean they don't want to work together. I think, frankly, the president allowed himself to get rolled a little bit, unfortunately, and gave control to Chairman Obie, Chairman of the Appropriations Committee, and Speaker Pelosi to pass any plan. And I think that we can do much, much better. And you can see that interview with Representative Roscom in its entirety on Fox Chicago Sunday. That's this Sunday morning at 8 o'clock.